Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Look at this. This has got to be the largest RC vehicle I've gotten to date. All right, so I've decided to move up, take the next step into the next realm of RC vehicles, and I got an airplane. <laughs> It's a trainer. It's something that is supposed to be easy. I don't think it's going to be as easy as the drones because understand like when you fly the drones, you can let go of the controls. They use GPS and sensors and they'll hover. You can hit return to home. It'll come home. It'll land itself. This won't do that. But with it being a trainer, what it does is it limits your ability. It has like a safe flight mode where it won't let you invert it. It won't let you do loops. It kind of controls. So you can put the stick over as hard as you want and it won't barrel roll the plane and make it just crash now you can still crash it it's not you know but it's supposed to make it easier so uh we shall see man i'm, I'm kind of excited to get into something else uh and then the motorcycle has been a blast that is so different than the rc car so, you know like the rc car if you get towards something you can always back up or turn around and everything like that and the motorcycle you can't you always got to keep moving for the most part they dropped this off and the wife was home and she didn't see this she saw the delivery truck asked what got delivered i was like i don't know whoa yeah see this was too big i think to go outside in the shed plus it's like 2000 degrees outside so Think this would work trying to do this outside uh, now the only bad thing is is that they did three different shipments i ordered a couple of extra parts nothing crazy just some extra props and some landing gear pieces and i need a battery i don't have a battery that fits this so ordered a battery and that's not gonna come until monday but uh, there's a little assembly required, so I can do that for now. Gee, this thing is stuck. So look, there it is. This is everything. So we do have a little work putting this together. I'm not sure if I... Maybe I'll take it outside. Maybe I'll just work on it here. See, I think I'm just gonna work on it here because I don't, it's too big to fit on the bench. And I don't think it's gonna be that hard. It's all like, it's all styrofoam. I never thought I'd own one of these because this is that type where the wing gets rubber banded to the roof and I always thought that was goofy, but you know, that's how they make it affordable. So <laughs> the nice thing is though with these, like most RC stuff, if you do break anything, you can order like a new body or a wing or, you know, any of the pieces. So like a, a lot of people complain about breaking props because I guess you land and maybe you flip over. So I got a few props. I bought one extra front landing gear and I bought one extra rear landing gear. So let me try to put this together and check back with you. All right, so uh, working on the floor didn't work out. My knees weren't having it. I, I only got so much flexation in them and when I'm down like that. So yeah, I had to go out to the workshop. Sorry, I kind of lied. It wasn't intentional, but it is nice to have the workshop. But I mean, dude, look at the size. This is <laughs> makes it hard to do it, but without the wing on there, which is a nice thing, because even though it has these kind of like, i make sure I don't take out the ceiling thing. Here, but even though it has kind of like these rubber bands, which I'm not a fan of, it does make it kind of easy. I do believe other airplanes, maybe the wings snap off for transport. Maybe not. I don't know. But uh, kind of new to this. And uh, yeah, so that's going to make it easy for storing and stuff like that because it's going to break it down into one thing. But I mean, man, look at this. This thing is cool. Hold on, let me turn this thing back on. There we go. 
So you got your ailerons here, got your rudder. Now there are some cables here. This is the only thing I got left. I got to connect these. What I'm waiting on is the batteries. Go when you put in the battery and turn on the radio, the servos that stir, that turn everything, will center up. So I want to make sure that they're centered, and then we'll adjust these flight surfaces and make sure they look about as flat as possible. And then if there are any like flight issues, just like I have with the RC cars, as they start turning to the left or the right too much, there's a trim setting so you can dial it in. So if this thing flies along and it just keeps wanting to uh, pitch up, you know, we can adjust the elevator in the back. Same thing, you know, if it just keeps wanting to make like a right turn, we can adjust here the ailerons. This is so funny. I mean, man, look at this. It's like there's a little servo and it's just taped in there. <laughs> I mean, they're not like the cheapest thing, but they're far from expensive. But uh, I mean, I've, I've been watching some videos and, so, you know, some of these channels make fun of these things. Call them like the Walmart fake Cessna things. Um, I don't know. I think it looks cool. Let me know what you think. I think it looks freaking cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I think this is this is cool, and I got a, like a big one just so because you know I'm getting older and I don't know if I'll find a smaller plane. So I wanted something big enough that when I was flying, I'd be able to keep my eye on it. Because I tell you, my drones once they get a little bit away, they're hard to find. But the drone ain't nowhere near this big. Look, just for comparison. Grand, this is one of the smaller ones, but you know they don't get too much bigger but, uh, so yeah now I just have to wait for uh, the battery to show up and say because like the other batteries for the RC cars are all different voltages and things like that so I can't just take something that's uh, that I have I mean I possibly could but what I like is if I use the spectrum battery um, like what I have for the I use one of these that's this one's for like the motorcycle this one's way too small for this but if I use this battery the telemetry on the remote control will tell me what the battery level is kind of when you fly in a plane it's kind of a nice thing to have kind of know when your battery's gonna die now granted I mean the battery dies it will shut off the motor it does have a fail safe it'll it'll throttle back the motor and still leave you enough power to steer so it'll start coming down and give you enough power to land it's not just gonna eh, and just die and fall out of the sky so there are some safety things built into it but so i'm gonna get the battery and uh i'm gonna find a place to fly this and we'll uh see you out there but before i fly the plane and crash it and get in a bad mood i'm gonna take the pro moto out here this is fun now check this out which battery do you think is more powerful? I mean, this one's got more milliamp hours, but this one's a higher voltage, 11 volts. This one's seven. More burst power, 50C versus 30. This is actually more 3S, three cells versus two cells, but this technically is more powerful, and that's for the plane. Let's take the uh, Promoto out. Let's have a little fun with this. This is going to be fun. This is all like dirt and stuff. School's going to start back in a week. So I'm going to lose this place. Well, I'll still have it on the weekends, but I don't know. I think when it's active and you got a bunch of kids out here, it's probably not a place that want an adult hanging out. Oh, no. Oh no!
I know it looks weird, the rubber bands, but there's a reason behind it. They say it, you know, it gives the wing a certain amount of uh, flexibility in a crash, see? So it allows it to kind of move around, give it a little more rigidity. Man, it is kind of windy. I hope it's going to be okay. Hope you enjoyed the, the bike. That thing is so much fun. Now one thing that's weird, I was throttling this thing around the house up and down the driveway and there's no brakes on the plane. No, let me turn this off first. Yeah, so when you land, you gotta make sure you still got enough room to uh, coast. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I <laughs> hope. Oh man. I hope, please. <laughs> I don't want to crash this thing. All right, so now we're supposed to put it level. And I don't think it's doing it. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. That's the safe lane initiating. So we got the prop turned off, so. so we got rudder, we got elevator, and we got aileron. Whew, try not to crash this thing. So you can hear the creaking. That's the uh, self-leveling like in this thing. So if you bank it too far and your controller is straight, it kind of will help level itself. And believe it or not, you can steer it on the ground. Whoa. All right. This thing is like way too nose high. What the hell's going on with this thing? Oh no. Oh, just land. Whew. Right, this thing is wanting to go way, way, way too nose high. What's the deal? So what's the deal? Why is it trying to go up so damn high? Is it this? Uh... Oh, so wait a minute, I'm having to pull way back to get this thing to fly. I should be having to push it. just turned it off
way. Well, I think I kind of damaged the pin that holds the steering linkage. Doesn't really want to stay on, but I got it. I could fly without it. The only danger would be the wheel turning in flight and then it comes down and just lands wrong or Still wanting to climb. There we go. Now I think I got it trimmed out. Oh. Woo. Oh man, this is scary. So I think what it is this way I'm going into the wind so I don't need a low lot of power. But then when I turn around, I'm going against the wind or going with the wind, I'm getting a tailwind and it's picking the Oh no. Oh no! Look at the landing gear. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a new. Yeah, you can't even really take off without being able to steer. So I guess I'm gonna have to wrap it up. Man, I hope this isn't gonna be a reoccurring problem. So basically, hopefully this will, this piece right here that clips onto here, there's one of these under here that controls the steering to the wheel and it broke and now we can't steer so well everyone let me know what you think of the new toy i like it man it's nerve-wracking as hell though oh man <laughs> i definitely got a lot to learn to get the uh the muscle memory to to know how to fly this thing so i'm just jamming sticks every which way <laughs> oh but that's the fun part because man your heart is pounding the whole time this thing is in the air at least mine is so yeah it's fun so i'm gonna have to order one of those pieces and we shall get it back in the air Whew. you know the only problem like you got a big place like this is that inevitably it's always windy and this is not very heavy so So this is what broke if you look right here there's a pin right there that snaps through the servo and then you got this piece here it slides up to keep it tight 
So here is the broken piece, and here's the servo. So hopefully you can see a servo is just a little electric motor that moves serves. So this one here, to see there's a second bar that works the rudder. This other one works the elevator. So this is you got these two cables out here. But see the rudder when you're on the ground also manipulates this front wheel. So, it's got to simply get this piece, I say simply, it's such a tight thing to work on here, but we're going to get this off and count the threads, thread it back in, hopefully everything will line up. Amazing, something so small can just ruin your day, but see that pin that's supposed to be in there? On that one's broke, so we got the new one in here. There is a specific hole, if you look, these things have holes in here. They do have instructions on where it's supposed to go because that dictates how much throw and how much movement it has. So, should be good to go. And now I have plenty of spares in case this happens again. So, let's get to the airfield and try it out one more time. All right, so I have the GPS in here. We're going to try to get some flight data, see like how fast it goes and uh, how high I fly, all that stuff. So, we shall see all right so it's been over a week it's instantaneous for you but it's been over a week Whew, man my heart rate's like oh man it's a hundred and hundred and eight yeah I'm nervous all right let's uh arm the prop so check it out we got this fixed we can now steer Look at that. I think we got it trimmed out to where it's not. I don't know. Still wanting to climb a lot. So let's, uh, I think they said put it in. Regular mode. Kind of up a little too high for me. I don't like it being up that high. Still trying to get this thing to come down. It's fun, it's nerve wracking, but it's fun. <gasps> Whoa. I guess I should practice some landings. I can't just always fly. I definitely need to practice some landings. Oh shit. That was like way fast, wow. All right, let's try to get it down. Oh shit. Just land. Oh, I can't see what's going on. Oh, it looks in good shape. Let's see here. Uh, good thing I cut the prop before it hit. I'll just try here in the field before we start trying to actually shoot for a runway. Oh shit. Oh. 
Damn it. That was a hard hit. It's a problem, it's got a lot of wind today. Oh, please be okay. Damn, think that thing hit the chin, fell all that way too. Could have broke a landing gear. Well, the wing looks crooked, but that's the whole point of the rubber bands. Actually, looks like a rubber band came off. Ah, <gasps> landing gear came off. Fuck. Oh man, the whole bottom. Damn. <gasps> no. Oh boy. Yeah, we broke a good amount of stuff here. Broke that again too. All right. Oh man, that broke off. <sighs> hmm. I don't know if airplane flying's my thing. Oh shit. I mean, look, I just uh, pretty much ruined the whole thing. The mount for the wings ripped off. We got a good piece of the wings ripped off. I mean, I can get these two pieces. Which I guess I would have to because all that got ripped out. Because the landing gear is fine. It's just this piece that threads in. Then we got the GPS. Well, guys, oh, that was short lived. Maybe I should get something smaller. <laughs> Learn some controls better. Oh man. Well, crap. <sighs> yeah, at least the GPS baby's still alive. <laughs> Everyone, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> hope you enjoyed my short flight and the death of, of my poor little RC. Thanks for watching. Like, shares, comments appreciated. Please subscribe, help the channel so I can afford to put this thing back together. Till next time, thanks for watching. There's a new car as well. Huh? What, what is this car? What is that one? It's had that one, it's an orange one. You look on top of the box. See, it's orange. What is this? That's the little one I brought inside. What's Shoot. that one? Yeah, you bought that one. Yeah, hey, I've had that one. It was the first one. Oh my God, man. And what, what is this one? Well, you have two of those. Why? What is that one? That's a new one, wow. Ow! That's a new one? No! Yeah! That's the big truck that I've had for Yeah, what about this one? That's the one I took to Miami. What about that one? I've had that one too. What about that one? My God. You have three of the same damn shit. They ain't the same. Look, Rustler, Sled, x men I don't care, they look the same. Fuck, now I'm trying to count the goddamn threads and you over here fucking disturbing. When we were flying, me and dogs went to look and you were not flying.